Hello. Today we'll be looking at a new capability within Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations apps that refurbishes virtual entity metadata in Dataverse. We'll begin with an overview of the new capability that will create and refresh entities automatically. As this is a new feature, we will look at the prerequisites and then there will be a, a demo of how you can enable this feature on an entity. We will then touch upon how you can monitor this feature. Previously, if you wanted to make a Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations entity available for export to ThinApps Link, you had to make a few updates to the virtual entity within Power Platform. These steps were time consuming and thus Microsoft has created a new feature which does this automatically for customers. By simply enabling a new parameter on the entity, the auto create and refresh capability in finance and operations enables automatic metadata creation or modification in Dataverse to occur immediately, reliably, and efficiently. Automatic refresh of metadata ensures timely updates in Dataverse from finance and operations apps. By enabling automatic creation and automatic refresh capability, you eliminate the need to manually refresh finance and operations entities in Dataverse. In order to be able to access this feature, you need to ensure you are on the correct version of Dynamic 365 Finance and Operations apps. Once you are, for the auto refresh component to execute, a package must be deployed. This triggers an X++ batch job. This batch job is triggered 30 minutes after successful deployment of the feature. For the auto create capability in finance and operations apps, the user must set the value of dataverse.autocreate to yes to enable automatic creation of the virtual tables in the linked Dataverse environment. The automatic creation of virtual tables in Dataverse for finance and operations apps is also managed through a batch job. But however, this batch job is triggered 90 minutes after the successful deployment of the feature. Now let's look at a demo. Before we update the parameters on this entity to enable the auto refresh capabilities, we're going to add the record ID. Now to do this, we first add a new map field. We are now going to rename this to sysrec ID. And then we're going to select the data source. In our case, this will be cus table, and then the data field, which in our case will be rec ID. One other factor to consider is that there are some reserved words, for example, modified by. In order to ensure this doesn't cause any compile errors, I have prefixed these reserved words with sys. Now, moving into the entity parameters, there are two we will look at today. The first is allow row version change tracking. This is the parameter that will enable the system to track changes to records and export these changed records to the data lake. This needs to be enabled on all entities and tables that are required to be exported via Synapse Link or Fabric Link. Next, let's look at the new parameter AutoCreate. By enabling this parameter, we are enabling the automatic creation of the metadata of this entity within Dataverse when it is deployed into Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Once this is done, we can save the solution and create a deployable package which we will deploy to our sandbox environment. You can monitor the status of the auto-create or auto refresh batch jobs by using the existing batch jobs page. For auto refresh, when the package is deployed in finance and operations apps, it triggers an X++ batch job, CDS virtual entity refresh batch. 
This batch job, as mentioned, is triggered 30 minutes after successful deployment of the feature package. For auto-create and finance and operations apps, the user must, of course, set the Dataverse auto-create metadata property to yes, as shown in the demo, and then after a successful deployment, the batch job CDS virtual entity auto-create batch will be triggered after 90 minutes. After a failure, the auto-create and auto-refresh batch jobs are automatically retried three times. You can monitor the status of automatic metadata synchronization by using the new Virtual Entity Metadata Sync Status page in Finance and Operations apps. This page shows all automatically created and refreshed Finance and Operations entities. If synchronization is successful, the last refresh time field shows the time of the last successful synchronization. If synchronization fails, for enhanced visibility and troubleshooting, personalize the grid on this page by adding the in is transient failure field. This field indicates whether the failure is transient and whether a retry is attempted. The failure message field provides details about the error. To learn about error codes that are included in the failure message, go to the web service error codes. For entities that are marked as failed, if the refresh needed checkbox is cleared, manual refresh from Dataverse is required after you fix the issue. Note that the user must take this action because the system doesn't automatically address these issues. Being documented on and published on Microsoft Learn, I encourage you to go and read the material. Thank you very much for your time.